Sea Dog here. Welcome to the channel. First time here, hit the like, subscribe, all that jazz, whatever. You know, you know what to do. Uh, today, what we're doing is. Spark plugs. Haven't done. I've hit the 50,000 mile mark, um, so it's probably overdue, I think. They say usually 30,000, so um, I don't know if the previous owner did them or not, um, but um, it seems like one of those good maintenance things, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so basically what we got, 5 8 uh, magnetic spark plug socket. Uh, torque wrench, I believe we are set to 20.6, if you can see that. Uh, so I think uh, for the RT, the 5.7, I believe it's anywhere from 18 to 22. Uh, so I just kind of went in the middle. Um, so... That's why I'll torque those two. Um, and then a little dielectric grease. So just the quick basics. You gotta remove, remove the valve covers and then take off the uh, coil packs to expose the uh, spark plugs. Um, and then uh, basically you pull the plug out uh, and uh, you replace the plug with a new one. And the gap on these should be 0 0.43, I believe. Um, so I do have a little gap tool around here somewhere. It's around here somewhere, but uh, I'll find it. And then I'll just verify these are correct. And I'll take a look at the ones that are coming out and see what they look like and uh, and see what they're gapped at just to see uh, if I was getting misfires or whatever and uh, all that fun stuff so stay tuned um, we got some uh, work to do um, real quick uh, it's a suggestion to remove the negative um, battery cable um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that you know, generally I'm not going to hit anything that arcs, but, uh, you know, what the heck. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. I, all I have to do is reset the clock. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and then uh, we'll get at it. Coil packs are on there with uh, 10 millimeter. So to pop these off, basically you uh, get the red tab up, squeeze, excuse me, mosquito season. Um, might have to grab a screwdriver and push on it, but. Basically, that pops that off of there. There we go. 
All right, first one's out. That's what she's looking like. Let's see what the gap is on it. It's one of those handy dandy tools. Zero, four, three. Okay, so the gap on this old one is below zero, four, zero. Just below. Food for thought. So that one's gapped at just at zero four zero. Comes with a nice sleeve on it. And let's see where it's gapped at. Pretty close. Maybe give it a little. So just to confirm. There we go. And the beauty of having the magnet one, that just sits down in there. Yeah. Always get it started by hand. Uh, for the record, um, it is recommended not to use anti seize, by the way, so that's why I'm just moving forward. Looks like the previous person did use some uh, dielectric on it. Little dab, move it around a little bit. So when it slides on, it'll contact the uh, head of the spark plug. Start the uh, start the bolts by hand, of course.
You hear that click and then lock her into place. Once that done, one cylinder done. So, seven more cylinders, basically the same process. As I get towards the back, I'll have to use the shorter extensions. Um, and hopefully, I won't have to remove my strut bar to do it. Um, and then over here, Hopefully there's not too much I have to uh, remove because I don't want to have to do the box. I don't want to have to do the uh, uh, coolant reservoir. So we'll see how it goes. So onward and upward. Okay, for the most part, everything's gone relatively smooth, super easy. Uh, in and out. Got cylinder one, two, three, done. I'm on to cylinder four, and probably going to need another angle one. Looks like I only have the one angle one. So I can see the downfall here is when I was um, screwing this back one, this third one in back in. There's a little bit of the red that uh, got scraped off, so I might have to touch that up a little bit or just be a little more careful next time. Um, but since I'm going to need something definitely for that far back one, uh, I'm going to go grab that now. I don't know what they call these things, the U-joint or whatever. It just allows for angles, basically. So um, that's what you're going to need when you get to the back back here. basically what I've been doing when they're loose enough. Just swapping that out. For this guy, Nice and slow. And then voila. Same process. Just make sure that these go straight in. So again, start it with your hands. Is this recording? Yeah. If you get to this point in the video, comment bird.
for the last 10 millimeter. Um, we have this little guy that just does a little angle, so I don't know if you can see that. Passenger side is done. So the only one I couldn't get to is this front one needs a little bit of an angle. Is this going to be short enough? So I don't have to mess with the air box or the uh, uh, coolant reservoir. What I did was I grabbed a 3 8 uh, with a switch over to a half, but a 3 8 um, U joint. All right, I had to take a little uh, dinner break. And also, there's a zillion mosquitoes out, so. Where do we leave off, I think? Number two. We're gonna take a bug spray break. Victory.
I was going to do light, but all that's going to do is attract the mosquitoes. Just keep on keeping on. Just changed out the 16 plugs. Um, I know it's dark now, but uh, I had to do some stuff on the old honeydew list, so you know how that's life. But wanted to make sure that there was no check engine light or anything. Let's see what we had going on. Haven't really got on it. Been uh, waiting uh, for the video, obviously. So. Just, just about one minute from the house, jumping on the highway here. I'd say there's no issue with power. So, a... Mark it down, 53,000 miles even. New spark plugs. Again, really appreciate you guys uh, commenting and uh, hanging out and watching my uh, videos. If you guys got any suggestions, uh, you know, hey, throw them in the comments. I'm more than willing to do some stuff. Uh, mods, that's, that's what we're here for. That's what it's all about, so... Um, this one was just simple maintenance, but uh, had to be done, and life is good. So, Sea Dog, out.